He tours clubs and colleges all over. He's just published his third book. Give a nice big round of applause for Rob Durham. A lot of comedians make the same mistake their first time on stage. The first noticeable one is they leave the mic stand in front of them. When you take the mic out of the mic stand, set the mic stand behind you somewhere on the stage. Do not leave it right in front of you. It looks ridiculous and it's the biggest mistake first timers always make on stage. Just move it out of the way. A lot of comics make the mistake of going over their allotted time. You're going to get four, maybe five minutes. Aim for three minutes your first time on stage. You don't have that many jokes yet. Aim for three minutes, get off stage. If you go over your time, there's a penalty. You may get your mic cut and look even more ridiculous, or you may not be put on the list for a future date. Don't try and be too edgy your first time up. Stick to basic jokes that aren't going to be that controversial. I know a lot of first timers think they're going to shock the world and say something we've never heard before, but that's, you're, not, you're not supposed to do that yet. You can't do that correctly yet. You're not Daniel Tosh. You're not Dave Chappelle. Calm down. Learn the basics before you even attempt anything controversial. You're going to make yourself look ridiculous. If you hear laughter in the back of the room, it's the comics laughing at you, not with you. Don't try and be too edgy your first few times up, especially. Another mistake comics make is trying to do stories the first time up, these long setups with no punchline. Your story might work with your friends, but it's really tough to pull those off in any setting. So you need to be patient with that and just set up punchline, set up punchline. Nothing too long, because if something doesn't work, you don't have two minutes of your act committed to it. Keep short jokes, 20 seconds, set up punchline, and you'll be fine. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for future advice. Check my blog, don'twearshortsonstage.com. And if you like that, uh, check out my book, Don't Wear Shorts on Stage. It's in paperback, it's on ebooks, Amazon, Kindle, whatever you need, it's in here. See you next time.